going to start off with my revamping of my TBR card. Since it's becoming spring, um, I usually associate March to like end of May as spring. So we are rearranging my TBR cart. Not by much, but by a lot at the same time. I'm going to keep all my romances on there and we're going to add, well they said that you should add poetry, classics, science fiction, and graphic novels. When I was looking them up at least. Um, and romances. And I added rom my romances to it. I added some science fiction, which is like my time traveling books. And The Mummy, because I just think that's more science fiction than fantasy maybe? I don't, I don't know, but I just like The Mummy is going to be part of this TBR. Because I'm almost done with it, as it is. And fantasy, because I don't have much science fiction, so I decided to add some fantasy to it instead. So, I added those books to my TBR and I have a huge stack of books that I'm taking off my TBR cart and putting back in this slightly empty bookshelf now. So I'm going to show you the books, just the pile of books, I'm not going to show you the names and tell you the names of them. And then I'm going to put them back and then I'll show you my TBR. Look at all those books. And we're back. Now to the TBR cart. I put all the books that I could away and etc. So let me just take it, get a handle on you. So these are all the K-drama, K-pop ones, Asian writer ones I told you about last time. I'm going to keep these here because they're all romances. This is also a romance slash like sci-fi slash fantasy type of book. Um, these are my time traveling books. These three right here but they're all also romances so I included that this is like a fantasy romance this is like a fantasy paranormal romance this is like a fantasy paranormal romance another Asian Jap Japanese I think or no probably k-pop I think k-pop book romance 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 fantasy 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 romance romance Fantasy, romance, 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 fantasy, romance, fantasy, romance, fantasy, and romance, fantasy. So I have a lot more romances than I thought I had. <laughs> I'm not much of a romance person, but I write romance. So it's good that I know that I have romances that I can read to get some inspiration from, after all, because... I didn't think I had that many. <laughs> and I do, I have quite a bit. Mostly romance fantasy, which is okay because I want to eventually write romance fantasy. Currently I'm writing a romance paranormal story, new adult genre. Anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you for this part of the vlog. Um, just to kind of give you an update what I'm reading, or what I'm going to read. Hopefully what I'm going to read and actually finish some. Because you guys know that I don't finish things for some reason. Although I did beat Hogwarts Legacy. And I did not restart over. Usually my problem with games is I have a tendency of restarting the game. And making a new character and just going on with that. And continuing and going back. And making a new character and all that jazz. But this time I made a character. And I played it through. I mean I restarted once. But that was in the very beginning when I was still in the tutorial. I just did not like the way I made my character. So after the tutorial, I got out and made a new one. So I didn't get that far in the game, period. I just, like, I just didn't like the way the character's face looked. <laughs> Anyhow, I beat the game. So that's two games this year that I've beaten. Uh, Far Cry 6, I think it is. I don't remember what number I was on. Um, and Hogwarts Legacy. So, two games I've beaten. I'm playing Coral Island right now, but you can't beat the game because they haven't finished it. It's in early access. So I'm just kind of playing to have fun. But I plan on reading more and getting through some more books. I wanted to tell you guys that we got a new car. I told you that last vlog. I put the picture up and everything. And Zach was at work on his day off, and someone, while he was parked, hit our mirror and damaged our mirror. Anyhow, I'm going to start doing makeup videos again because I heard that they're starting to become more popular again. 
Um, I don't know if you guys want to see them because you guys are my subscribers, but I like doing makeup and I um, was originally trying to do makeup for this channel instead of mental health. So I will be going back into makeup um, pretty shortly on Monday. I'll start doing filming some videos. Monday might be the only time I'll be able to film videos and do voiceovers for Between Monsters and Men and cleaning videos and all that jazz because that's the day that my roommate has uh, homeschooling school. So I'll be trying to film on Monday, hopefully that video, and another video I wanted to film and I don't remember what it was. I'm going to be doing a morning routine video very shortly too. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird for, than a normal morning routine video. Usually when you do morning routine videos, you go through the process of what you're doing in the morning um, and showing people what you're doing in the morning. However, um, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning on um, most days to get Zach ready for work. And I'm usually doing quick quick speed stuff to get him ready for work before he heads out. So I won't be able to film that because filming takes a moment to set it up, get the right angle, all that jazz. And I won't have enough time to do that with him rushing to work. So <laughs> I'll be explaining to you what I do when that time comes and then I'll show you what I do when I wake back up because I go back to sleep. Um, I don't do much in the morning. Um, I'm trying to get back into routines at night because it's just, I'm supposed to, I'm like 31 years old, almost 32, and I need to start taking better care of myself. <laughs> and I need to start doing morning and nighttime routines, so I'm going to start taking you guys on that thing, but I might film that on Tuesday. I might. I was going to film it last Thursday, so yesterday, but I was really, really tired yesterday, and I just could not do anything in the morning. Plus, my roommate needed me to babysit her kids um, right as I woke up. So I will be filming a cleaning video, I will be filming a routine video, and I will be filming a makeup video. I'll eventually get back to doing mental health videos if I have any episodes to document for you guys. You guys want mental health videos, but I do not do mental health videos because I am not a doctor. Unless I've experienced the experience of having those mental disorders. I'm just letting you guys know that again because I know you guys want mental health videos and there's nothing much for me to talk about now that I'm not experienced episodes because I'm on the right medication. Um, I know if you have guys have any ideas for me to do some mental health videos, like someone gave me an idea and I don't remember what it was, like uh, how, I am, how I'm doing on medication or something like that. Um, they gave me that idea and I was like, I'll think about it because I don't know how to say it to do that. <laughs> I also want to do a questions and answers video, so if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them down below, and I'll answer them in a Q&A. Maybe I'll have Zach in it too, um, we'll see, uh, if you have any questions for him, because I know he's, he's my caretaker. So today is March 6th, it is a Monday, uh, I think Friday, I'm pretty sure it was Friday, we had a storm that came through, it was really bad. Um, really windy over here. It wasn't too bad over here, but it was it hit um, Nearby and caused a tornado to go through and it took out our power and our internet <laughs> and If I don't know if I told you guys, but we lost internet last month, too Because the box was old and it sorted out But this time the power went out and the new box sorted out So now we don't have internet again, and we didn't have we haven't had internet in since Friday and we're supposed to get internet back sometime today after 3. Hopefully that's the case because I was going to film a makeup tutorial. But I didn't want to do it without having internet around because I want to get inspiration from ideas online. Other than that, I've just been watching Studio Ghibli movies because there's nothing to watch on TV because I don't have internet. My hair's getting longer, but not long enough, fast enough. I want it to grow faster. I don't want it really long like I used to have it. I just want it at like maybe mid my, mid my back. Um, and layer it again, and hopefully I'll be healthier again. <laughs> hmm, don't know about that, because I bleached my hair to the point where, it, like this side right here, where my hair is right here, there's a bit, it's a bit frizzy. Um, so when I straighten it, it straightened out, but when I hit blue dry my hair, which I did also, it was like fluff. I'm like, what happened? I did it right. <laughs> but apparently not, because my hair just poofed right there. That was the only spot that it pooped. I don't think this side poofs very often. It's just this one little 
bang. It's not really a bang, it's like all the way down to here, but you know what I'm saying. I do need to cut my hair because it needs to be cut just to get some trimmings done. So I need to do that eventually. So I'm sick. My throat hurts a lot, especially when I swallow. Which I didn't know how much I swallowed until I started getting sick. I know that I had body aches last night and I'm feeling a little bit, not warm, but I'm like sweating but cold at the same time right now. But I'm not hot, I'm not have, I don't have a fever. So I don't know what's going on with that. I had so much to tell you guys and I don't remember any of it right now. Oh, my Patreon and my book. I am gonna be putting chapters and excerpts on my Patreon page for my patrons. So if you would like to read my book or my fanfics, well my fanfics are free to read anywhere, but um, I might still put excerpts from them occasionally on Patreon just for the fun of it. But um, I'm going to be putting my book, first three chapters on my Patreon and excerpts throughout the rest of the book on Patreon. So if you would like to read my book, you do have to become a patron to read it. I'm not asking you to do it, I'm just letting you guys know. I know a lot of you guys were interested, well not a lot of guys, a lot of, a few of you guys were interested in my book. And that's the way you can potentially read it, read the three, three first chapters of my book. Of one of my books. I might add the other ones sooner or later. I haven't been able to work out for a week already because I've been sick. My throat was hurting really bad for the last week. Um, it doesn't hurt anymore, but I'm still sick. My nose is like really stuffy. My throat's still crackly. I don't know if that's the word. Um, where it's not normal yet. I mean, it sounds normal right now, but it keeps cracking or going out. <sighs> but I'm still sick, so there's that. I have to finish making the cleaning video for you guys for this month. I stopped because I got sick. <clears throat> all I have to do is vacuum <laughs> the living room and the kitchen. That's all I have to do for that video and then I can edit it fully, voice over it, and put it up. But for next month's videos, uh, yeah I said videos with an S. I'm gonna deep clean because April is like to me is like the spring cleaning month, but that's just to me. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. So I'm going to deep clean the living room, the kitchen, and the bedroom, and make videos for them separately because they're gonna be pretty long because I'm gonna be deep cleaning them. I don't know when they're gonna be put up. They should be put up relatively quickly because I'll work on one at a time and. Be, but I, don't, I don't know. I don't quite know. I just know I need a deep clean. I haven't been deep cleaning for these videos because, well, I haven't been mentally really here lately. And you can see that through the videos because I'm not deep cleaning anything. I'm not going hard in the cleaning mode. You know what I'm saying? For those who watch me on Between Monsters I'm in, I have been working on videos for that. But for some reason, th no, there's not for some reason. There's a reason. I get a lot of my pictures from DeviantArt, from the artists. I go on there, I ask the artists for permission to use their pictures and everything like that. But there's an AI situation going around on DeviantArt. I don't understand it, I didn't look into it. Where a lot of artists are trying to like combat it and everything like that by not going on to DeviantArt anymore or not submitting their photos or something like that. I don't, I don't know, I don't quite know what's going on. But it's keeping a lot of the artists from coming on DeviantArt. Whenever I ask them to borrow the pictures, I haven't been getting back replies, whether it's yes or no. Um, normally, if they don't message me about by a week, I um, I just don't use their pictures. Because of this situation, I want to wait a little bit longer to see if they'll pop on in between the time that I'm waiting to give me an answer or not. And they're not. <laughs> So I'm not receiving a lot of pictures from my my uh, videos for Two Monsters of Men lately. My Chilin video I just worked on that should be up tomorrow, but it should be up before this vlog, obviously. Uh, I was only able to get one picture out of like 17 that I, 17 artists I asked from. So if that doesn't tell you something, I don't know. 
Um, I'm working on a cracking video that should be up before this video. Also, if not, then I'm sorry. It's probably because I'm sick. That one I received two responses from. One was a no and one was a yes. If I don't receive an answer by Wednesday of this week, there might be only one photo for that video also. That's what's been going on when it comes to Between Launches and Men, if you guys, if any of you guys watch my other channel. So I just learned that possibly three of our outlets are going out. Two of them are already out, they're connected, they're the ones that connect to the computer. And the third one is the one by the TV. I noticed the backup uh, battery power thing wasn't charging, so I moved everything away. I'm like, maybe something's going on with the actual outlet. And the, after moving everything away, I used my hair dryer to plug it in and turn it on, and it was sparking. Yeah, the outlet was sparking. I'm like, okay, yeah, we're not turning that back on. So, <laughs> but if we have an electrician coming out, he's supposed to look at two of the outlets. Now I have to have him look at three, and hopefully that doesn't up the price. Um, probably will. <laughs> Because he's going to have to do diagnostics on it. I was going to film a video of clean cleaning today, deep cleaning today. But now I'm not going to because I can't put anything back right now. I have to leave everything the way it is so that the electricians can get at it. And I have nothing to do because my computer's not working. Because it's not turned on, it's not plugged in. And the TV's not working because the battery backup's not working. So I have nothing to do right now except for play on my phone, and even then I'm afraid to do that. Because <laughs> I need the phone for when they call me to tell me they're hiding this way because we don't have a specific time when they're coming because they have to fit us in somehow. So guys, let me tell you a short story. The other day, I don't remember which day it is now because my memory is really bad, you guys already know this. I was lying on the couch and my roommate opens the door and says, Your books are here. And I was like, my books but I didn't order anything <laughs> so I went up and grabbed the, the books and I brought them down they were from Amazon and I learned that someone my one of my subscribers had sent me items for my wish list on the Amazon her name is Jane and I already filmed this video once before but there was an error so I'm filming it again so you guys can see what I got I'm su I was super excited when I got them because I did not know that they were from a subscriber. I thought that maybe something was sent to the wrong address or something like that. Because I'm not used to anyone sending me stuff even if I even though I have my Amazon wish list on my YouTube channels. So I did not expect anything whatsoever. I just was like, what? <laughs> so I opened one package, I noticed a little note that said it was from Jane and I had gotten stuff from her. So I'm gonna show you what I got, guys. I got a bring over this chair because it's holding some of the stuff. First is Vetri Science Composure. Fast acting formal design formula designed to promote calm behavior in anxious or stressed dogs. This was on my wish list because my dog has suffers from separation anxiety really badly. Um, whenever I'm gone at least, not when Zach's gone. And this means a lot because this is what my vet told me I should get, but I couldn't afford it at the time because our car kept breaking down and then finally the transmission went down and now we have a whole new car and we have to pay for that. So <laughs> I didn't have the money to purchase this, which is something we really need. So I had to stay home a lot whenever Zach had to go out so that the tear doesn't tear up his cage or anything else that's on top of it or below it or whatever um, because of that. Uh, but we get to try it now, and it's in bacon flavor. The one that I, I uh, put on my wish list, which is even great, greater because he's allergic to chicken. So, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any chicken byproduct in it because it's bacon flavored. Yeah, it doesn't have any chicken byproduct, which is awesome because, like I said, Tia is allergic to chicken. I'm going to try this probably around my birthday because I don't think we're going anywhere until my birthday. Even if we go out on my birthday, I don't I don't know if we're going out on my birthday or not. These two came together because they were sold together. The Meden, me, I think it's Meden watercolors and Meden uh, brush pens. Watercolor brush pens. The brush pens look like this. 
they look like this and what you do is you open the top right here or the bottom whichever you want to call it and you put water in it and then you squeeze right here and the water releases into the brush area of the pen and you can use it with watercolors to help paint and stuff like that and blend and um you can use it with gouache and ink also or anything water based I'm super excited because I always wanted to try these and um I just never had the money to purchase them because I think they're I think I could be wrong I think they're a little expensive this comes with it and it comes with another uh, pen and these are all the watercolor paints there's a lot here guys a lot which is great because I need a lot of colors I need a lot of colors for my painting because a lot of the tutorials that I follow use different range of colors, but they have more expensive, um, more expensive watercolor paints that they use. And lastly, the Prisma, Prisma Color Premium 36 count watercolor pencils. I think I have the 24 pack, um, but I wanted the 36 pack because it comes with more colors. And I'm I'm afraid of running low on my watercolor pencils because that's what I use most right now. And um, I'm afraid of losing, losing like, running out of them and then not having the, that color anymore. You know what I'm saying? So getting the, I put this on my wishes specifically because I was afraid of that happening. And it comes with even more colors, which is great. And it comes with a neon green color, which I was super excited about when I first opened this package. And I was like, neon green? Yes. That's my favorite color, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Neon green with a metallic kind of look to it. That's my favorite color. It's water syllable, obviously, because it's water color, water colors. And it comes with four, four uh, packets. Is that what you would call them? I'm trying to be careful so they don't fall out. Oh, comes with three. Okay. Comes with three. That makes sense. Makes total sense. I don't know why I saw the four. And here's the neon green ones right here. You can't even see it, so. <laughs> so I got overly excited when I saw this. I freaked out when I saw this. And I was like, oh my god. I've been wanting these. Neon green is in it. And a whole bunch of different colors so I don't have to mix again. Which is great because the tutorials that I follow, um, the colors that they use is from Faber Castell, Castell, I think that's the name of the brand, and that's a German brand, and that's I think also on my list. And um, he uses that, he or she, I don't know, they don't do voiceovers in their tutorials, uses those and they have different colors than the ones that I have in my original Prisma uh, color kit. And uh, I was like, I have to do as close as possible, I guess. So now I have this 36 count, and I'll be able to get the same color. So that means a lot to me. Because <laughs> I hate doing it with a different color than the original person I'm following. Because I'm trying to follow the tutorial to learn. And um, if you want to see more of my paintings, just tell me down below, and I will film them. They're hanging on the wall in my bedroom, and I just keep adding tacks to them every time I add a new one to it. And um, I'm going to probably post them on my Patreon every time I finish one now. So if you guys want to see them, they're going to be on my Patreon as well. So instead of just seeing like the bulk of them and you want to see them individually, I'll be putting them on Patreon. But you have to be a Patreon to see them. So unless you want to see the bulk of them all together like that. <laughs> so that is all that I got. I'm super excited. She said she sent me another thing, but it won't arrive until the 30th, which is today is the 27th. And, um, and it's supposed to be watercolor paper, which is great because I could always use paper. Because when you buy a watercolor paper, it only comes with like 15 pages. <laughs> it's not a lot. Unless you want to get the cheap version, which is from Walmart, which has 50 pages. And they're not bad, but you can see the creases in the page with the paint pretty, ba pretty, pretty prominently. And, um... So, if you don't want that to happen, you should buy a better quality paper. But it was cold pressed, and it was from Walmart, and it was like 10 bucks. I was like, okay, I'm buying this because I need more papers. So, that's what I did with that. 
And um, I'm still going to use it because it's, I paid $10 for it. That's a lot of money for me. <laughs> so, yes.